Hello and welcome to this video presented by markets.com. Today is Friday the 15th of October. For something different, we're going to run through some US stocks. Today I have a handful of stocks that may be of interest to you. The first one is United Health. Uh, this has been on quite a very, very strong run uh, the last uh, year or so, two years, but it has run into a bit of a wall of resistance up around this sort of $420 level uh, right up through here where that red line is. But interestingly, in the last 24 hours, it sort of gapped up on open and closed down a little bit, running into this sort of resistance at 430, 4.25. And at the same time, you'll see the support that it's been provided by around 385. So back here a few months ago, fell strongly, gapped down, bounced back off strongly, ran up to that resistance again and came down again strongly, but again back to 385 and bounced off that level again. So if this resistance is going to stand tall and, and sort of prevent, you know, keep a lid on higher prices, then you can sort of visualize that price just retreating again and potentially moving back down to that sort of 385 level like we've seen previously. And you would need to do the math and uh, work out if there's potential reward in there or enough potential reward in there to warrant that a trade to trade back in that range. Another one is Caterpillar. Uh, this not moving so well, and you'll see how over the last four months or so, moving away, moved away from an all-time high, fell off quite strongly, and back to a level that you'll see in the last what uh, month or so. We'll just draw a line in there somewhere, maybe around 188. You can see how it's found a lot of support at this level. Back here, maybe a little bit of interest around that level, around 188, 190. But certainly in more recent times, it's found a lot of support there. But again, we've got a bit of a descending triangle forming as it's rallied back up. It just hasn't got up as high as it has been previously. So the sellers are coming in quite strongly. Demand is sticking fairly uh, stubborn there at around that 188 level, providing a bit of support. But you could easily see that sort of, you know, breaking through that support, demand being consumed by overwhelming supply and pushing that price down lower. It will be interesting to see if it is actually able to maintain that support right around that level at 188. Another one is Campbell Soup. Similar picture, uh, you know, fallen over the last few months. Again, come back to a level of some interest. Uh, in this case, right around sort of 40, $41. So back here, you know, pandemic time, very, very strong decline, sort of bounced up reverse just as strongly as it fell. And in more recent months, it's come back down to a similar level, 40, $41. So again, you can see how it's bounced off these levels and just finding a bit of support there. Interesting if it does move back down to 40, which I could easily see happening. Again, a nice round number, multiple of $10. It's found a lot of support there just a month or so ago. Really quite a lot of st uh, strong support. If it was to move back down to that level and test that level again, you know, you, you may see a bounce back off. But if it was to fail and break quite strongly through that $40 level, you could easily see that level becoming a level of resistance and keeping a cap on prices. You can see a few times back here where it's met that $40 level and bounced off right on the $40 level and again found some support at that level there too. So it is a level of significance and it is being revisited uh, right now. Another one is Citrix. Similar picture to what we've seen previously. Previous sort of support levels or key levels had a bit of a decline of late back down to, what, $95, $90, bounced off, found some support at $90. It is a little bit more erratic, a little bit more volatile. You can tell by the gaps and the amount of uh, distance between, you know, one candlestick and neck, the next. That won't suit some people, simply a volatility thing, and that is, uh, that's fine. So it is a little bit more volatile than the others, but it is just sort of testing, uh, you know, some a previous uh, key level, support level, and it'd be interesting to see if that holds up or if the decline over the last, you know, sort of 18 months or so continues uh, to fall back to previous low levels where it has been previously. Another one is Deer, John Deer, not known as John Deer, but uh, Deer, similar picture. So we've got a key level, I'll draw this one in for you, right around that 320 level, good multiple of, you know, $10, obvious number. Look how it's running to support, uh, sorry, some resistance here, fallen away, but finally broken through that. Fallen quite strongly, you know, 400 to 320 is a significant fall, but bounced right off that 320 level. 
again in the last month or so, fallen quite strongly and now found again support at 320. The level is significant. It has played a role over the last 12 months. Be interesting to see if that support holds up, keeps it propped above that level, allows it to rebound and move back higher again. You could easily see it doing that. So there may be a trading opportunity there as it you know, finds some support at that $3.20 level. Next is in sight. You'll find a lot of similarities in these charts. So a lot of support here right around this 62.50 level, very strong fall, equally strong rebound, and we're just re revisiting that level again, coming back to that level. Currently at 64, but you cannot deny the decline that it's had certainly over the last few months, but more so over the course of this year, you know, trading from over $100 back down towards 60 is quite a significant decline. It'll be interesting to see if this previous support level, and we can say that about a lot of stocks in the last 18 months, if it does in fact find support again there and people see that as an opportunity, seeing what's happened previously, jump in, increase that demand, and therefore that support level happens because enough people make a decision to buy and increase that demand and and prop that price up. It's certainly a bit of a pivotal point now, whether it does in fact find that support and rebound again. A few more to go. Qualcomm is the next similar picture. So this one is going to be right around, say, 125-ish, 124. So you can see how that role, or sorry, that level throughout this year has played a significant role. Strong decline, bounce off back again bounced off it again and we're right at that level again so it's testing that level is that support going to hold up it has in uh, the last 24 hours rebounded and bounced strongly off that will that level continue to hold if it does we may see a revisit back up to previous levels what we've seen previously and you can do the math if that's enough potential reward for you if that fails that level could easily become a resistance level and we form a new range below that 124 level but obviously playing a role uh, right now, providing some support. And finally, AT&T, similar picture. So this you would have to say is right around sort of the 26 level I'm gonna draw in for you. Probably go a little bit lower than that. Roughly 26 there. You can see what a role this level has played. Support there, support there, and now We've retested that level and maybe it's been found wanting. So it's been a very strong decline over the last uh, week. Some big red candlesticks there smashing through that level. It's potentially going to now reverse and retest that level. And we'll see if that 26 level can rebound back above that and, and sort of get that support again from that level or whether in fact that support level previously propping it up over the course of the last 18 months, whether that now reverses roles and becomes a level of resistance. So again, just a few stocks there from the US, some US stocks for you to look at uh, as potential trading opportunities. I hope that's been of some help to you. I hope you have a great day and we look forward to speaking again soon.